Hey everybody, we're coming to you not live anymore from Chaos World Headquarters West Coast. It's me, Cami Chaos. Uh, everybody knows Mr. Chaos. Everyone say hi to Mr. Chaos. Hello, everybody. Hi. And special guest, you won't believe it, live, but not live anymore, and in person, but not really, Daddy Chaos. Hey there. So yeah, this is the first ever three Chaos family member podcast Christmas extravaganza. Some technical difficulties. With te- yeah, technical difficulties, people difficulties, but finally we're here live with Daddy Chaos, who's been talking into the mic like a madman until the until we went live here. Well, yeah, but I'm just waiting for my turn. It's your turn. No, it's not my turn, but I can pimp my. I, I guess I could pimp my uh, blog site. We could. Does any? Does everyone know who who Daddy Chaos is? Daddy Chaos is actually really in the real nemesis life. Nemesis of Mister Fabulous. And my real life biological daddy, and and daddy that raised me too. Not just bio. Daddy. Not That's, just biological. Well, yes. sometimes raised you. Yes. When I was home. When he was when he was not out on a business trip. Yes, which was most of the most time. Most of the time. But he's actually my real dad. He's not a fictional character. Unlike. Captain Chaos. Unlike Captain Chaos, who is a fictional character. Yes, and he's, he's saluting all of you now. He's over there right. right now, but but we can't really see him. That. We mm-hmm. can only hear a voice. Let's see. We can get a... Let's so, see. It's going to be hard to take a picture with the lens, <laughs> with the lens cap, cap on. on. Right. And anyway, that blog well, would be well, where? Well, well, the picture is being taken, and I see the flashes blinding me. That blog would be daddychaos.blogspot.com. That's right. Where Daddy Chaos writes or, about what? Uh, Daddy Chaos writes about anything that comes to his mind. He has an FI award generally every week. And uh, the FI award really just points out that there are a lot of fucking idiots out in this world. Oh. And, uh, that's what FI stands for. Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, you're right there. You ought to read my blog once in a while there, Captain. Oh, yeah, that blog. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. I love that thing on Wednesday about the thing with the thing. You know when the toilet fell in the phone? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. That wasn't it. It was really the phone fell in the toilet. Oh, yeah. That's what it was. You family, remember that. Family Harmony. I family read one Harmony. personal life blog, and that's, sir. And that's uh, Mrs. Chaos is over here. And that can be found at? And that can be w- found w- at? W- dot com. All right. And C-A-M-I-K-A. O-S. And when uh, you read her, sometimes you'll uh, figure out what's going on in the rest of the world. And you can find a link there to Daddy Chaos. Yes. Daddy Chaos. And, and some other Chaos family members as well. Yeah. And some you other good find, peeps. You can find Maliki, and you mm-hmm. can find the Droid Whisperer. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Uh, don't forget Sybil, though. Sybil's mm-hmm. an adopted daughter of the Chaos family. She may as well be my Along see, with B.W., uh-huh. who has also been adopted, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. although uh, Miss Sybil uh, well, her, has her gun adoption, control issues. It's pending. Yeah, I, the state of Iowa is looking into it right now. Yeah, the peony shot on the... Yeah, she shouldn't have shot that guy <laughs> in the balls. <laughs> no, that was awful. Oh. Um, yeah, well, she went shooting, and she's got her... Uh, Target picture up, and she she shot the the guy in the penis. I must say, it's a good shot, though. What's well, a good shot? It's a good shot, baby. I love you. A Christmas shot. A Christmas shot. I think Mister Chaos is yes. subtly trying to lead us in the direction of Christmas, which is the reason that Daddy Chaos is in town. That's right. We're here for Christmas every Christmas for the past six years. Every Christmas. Yeah, and much to the chagrin of Captain Chaos, <laughs> because. Every we Christmas. stay here at his house and mess up his stuff. Every Christmas, mess up his stuff. I drive his jeep, clog his toilets. I didn't do that. No, no. We have the toilet clogger upstairs. Where's your cell phone? Where's your cell phone? Do you know where your cell phone's at? Have you seen your cell phone lately? I know where mine is, but uh, it's not the one in question. No, Nana Nana Chaos's cell phone is going to constantly be in question for the rest of her life. Now. She'll never live it down. No, she won't. My mom, everybody, in case you don't read Daddy Chaos's blog, flushed her cell phone down the toilet two days before they headed for Portland for Christmas break. And, uh, you know, she needed her cell phone for Christmas break because of all the fabulous Christmas break things that we do. Like recording Chaos Family podcasts and... Taking, fix plumbing. Taking pictures fixing and plumbing. fixing plumbing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's we, been a lot of plumbing going on around here, too. Yeah, there sure has. Yes. 
So where do you so where do you reside? Where do you come? Where do you fly out from? We fly out from the Midwest. From the Midwest. How's yes. that working out for you? Uh, when it's not snowing in Omaha, not too bad. But you know, with the way the uh, travel situation is these days, I don't like walking through the snow in my sandals. Exactly. So, but yeah, we leave Omaha, the land of uh, the latest uh, mall massacre, of course. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Sadly to say. Yeah. That but, was uh, setting. That's a downer. And the uh, Iowa caucuses. Yeah, yeah, the January caucuses. Would well, well, Omaha is not the home of the Iowa caucus. No, caucus. But we, we do live in Iowa. We yeah. fly out yeah. of Epley Airfield in Omaha. Uh, very nice little airport. But, um, yeah, the January caucuses are uh, coming up in Iowa, January 3rd. Somebody's blowing bubbles in their margarita. I, I was not blowing I bubbles. I think that's Dennis Kucinich. I was not blowing <laughs> bubbles. I was drinking the bottom of the margarita. And oh, it just sounded like air. bubbles. Okay. My, yeah, it was an empty margarita. Okay. It was a sad noise, not a bubble. Dennis Kucinich, speaking of Kucinich, has had a sad event in his life. His brother of sound uh, deceased in his home. <laughs> God, this is a depressing <laughs> podcast. Under mysterious circumstances. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Under under yet undefined circumstances. We, we actually promised Cammy Chaos that we would not talk politics. <laughs> I'm going to take Daddy Chaos's mic away. Um, so so are you going to so are you uh, going to reside there and No, uh, you know, our plans are to uh, try to sell our house in a very depressed housing market. <laughs> um, too depressing. It just keeps getting yeah, worse. It just keeps getting more depressing. <laughs> Yeah, more and more depressing. I like happy things. Happy, damn it. Happy on my show. The housing market, of course, as you all know, is uh, not real good right now. And the uh, cost of um, trying to do business with the the sale of a house has uh, diminished significantly over the past year. And um, we're hoping that uh, sometime next year when Google moves to Council Bluffs, which is where we live, that they'll have a significant influx of people and someone Ooh. will be willing to buy our house. So Google. any of you Google people out there that might happen to catch this. You uh, can live in a... I hear they're internet can, people. You can, yeah, they're internet people. You can live in Council Bluffs. What a lovely city. Beautiful house. It's growing. It is a lovely house. And, and yes. you live in a beautiful and, house. And we live in a very beautiful house with a backyard where we see deer every day. It's like 10 cents a square foot or Wild something out turkeys. there, right? Wild turkeys. Oh, no, it's a little more than 10 cents. Wait, wait, wait. The most important selling feature of their house, I swear to God, is that they have a fence. And if you are not a Midwest person and you're used to, like, normal circumstances like I am, like a fence, they have a fence on their yard. And wild turkey. Bottles of it everywhere. You just (laughs) walk out, there's (laughs) a bottle of wild turkey. (laughs) Oh, damn. Thirsty. Which of the Googlers would like that on their way to work? The Googlers have to love the wild turkey. Yeah. Have to. Do you drink wild turkey at Christmas, Mr. Chaos? Uh, Mr. Chaos used to drink wild turkey <laughs> at Christmas many years ago when he was younger, and then he swore it off. What, did, mm. did you climb street signs or what? No, I do that. Uh, <laughs> Not no. with wild turkey, though. No comment. <laughs> it was early times for me, but... Yeah. Well, you know... Rare breed. I was 23 last time I climbed a... Well, it was a light post. I was about 18. Oh, oh you know... Here we I, go. I feel we're, an endorsement coming on. Wild turkey, rare breed. Uh, when you're listening to the podcast, don't endorse wild turkey on my blog. The Chaos family drinks. No, wild they turkey, don't. Rare breed. Mr. Chaos is a liar. We do not. <laughs> Gentleman Jack. Jack. Daniels. You know what we do though. No, we do drink. Isn't advertising for alcohol illegal? But not on the internet. You know what? Not we for drink, you Google guys living in Council we've had Bluffs. A little cruising. We drink gin. Yeah. And tequila. Yeah. Is that what we do around Christmas? And a lot of wine. A lot. Well, I'm not mm-hmm. so much a wine drinker these days. Mm-hmm. I always like to have You my... aren't, but I know two other guys in here. Yeah. If it sparkles, <laughs> I'll drink it, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Cat's sure, looking sure. for a little margarita right now. Yeah, the cat's upset because I finished my margarita. So what else do we do at Christmas? Christmas? We make... Well, we make gumbo. 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 The first thing that little Kay... Ever, ever tasted. tasted as far as adult food goes. Mm-hmm. It's the first thing that passed through her lips about six weeks old. She was not six weeks. You're so insane. Yes, she was. No, she was like four months. And uh, who makes the gumbo? Nana Kay makes the gumbo. Mm-hmm. And the gumbo is only good 
because the Andui comes from Jacobs. And we're not getting paid for these commercials. Jacobs Andui. When you need to make gumbo, ask for Jacobs. It's the finest. Mm -hmm. And you can find Jacobs at CajunSausage.com. And for those of you that can't spell Cajun, that's C-A-J-U-N. Sausage. (laughs) D-I-C-K. Dot com. (laughs) Ask for it by name. Cajun... Uh. Cajun sauce. Actually, if you go to that URL, I'm sure you'll find something uh, entirely different. I'm not sure it what It won't you'll be find. andouille. No, no. But if you want andouille. But it might be interesting. <laughs> but you probably would see a sausage. <laughs> you probably would. Now, I can't wait to read the comments uh, of your readers mm-hmm. who was like, hey, I went to Cajun D-I-C-K. And I can't wait to read the comments of my readers who've only tuned in because they want desperately to know who won the uh, 2007. <laughs> That's right. Chaos Holiday Lyric Contest. And anybody Moving who on. wants the gumbo recipe can find it by can emailing $1,000. CK. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll, we'll give it to you. I'll send you that. That's true. If it anyone... is very good. Uh, it, we, actually, we do have to say, what, what's the background to this Cajun, to the Cajun Christmas? Gumbo? Oh, it's just been a tradition in our family since, uh, since uh, Nana Kay took a cooking class down in New Orleans on a business trip one time. Mm-hmm. Nice. Real and, deal. And uh, it was a real deal. Yeah. 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 And the uh, actually the chef at the cooking class in New Orleans School of Cooking, mm. another plug, his name was Kevin, and uh, he's an ex-football player for the San Diego Chargers. What a lousy football team. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, now we have politics and football on my blog. Yes, and I'm sorry if I've offended any San Diego Chargers fans. But yeah. And your team is? My team is? Uh, the Broncos. They're, they're missing. Yeah. The, As I, if you look back at some of my blogs, if you'd bothered to read them, <laughs> you'd, you'd know that the uh, Denver Broncos was my team, but they've been kidnapped by someone and they're now a team of imposters. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> Doppelgangers. Yes. No, no, not doppelgangers. Imposters. Pod people. Imposters. They're pod people. I, they were on their way to Chicago when they were kidnapped and haven't been seen since. The city has not yet posted a reward. Hmm. Gotcha. Losers. But the gumbo is very good. Yes, and has nothing to do with the Denver Broncos. And very Cajun. Yes, and has nothing to do with football. Or politics. <laughs> or politics. Or, well, no, the gumbo does have something to do with the 2007 Chaos Holiday Lyric Contest because in the Chaos family, we have gumbo at Christmas. And uh, our songs are Christmas songs. So, yesterday I posted on the blog the uh, winners of the Nice Contest. Winner, shall I say, Joe won the Nice Contest with a lovely little song that appealed to my ego and to my five-year-old's ego. Although Mr. Chaos didn't quite like that uh I do not respond well to stacking the cards he thought that the judges yeah he thought that the mere mention of my name in it should have disqualified joe However, it was cute though it was, it was very cute. great entries absolutely great entries but we're not talking about the nice contest we're talking about the naughty contest today and i think there was a lot more of a stir with the naughty contest a lot more people submitted for that one than than did for the nice contest a lot more and uh double it was. It was double. It was twice as many people submitted to the uh, to the naughty That's contest. Two times more. <laughs> it is for all you math fans twice. out there. Twice as much. Um, and because of that, somehow the math worked out, and we have two runners up that tied for second place. That's right. And uh, before we, we're going to keep you in suspense as to the winner. <coughs> but the uh, the runners up were "Be My Christmas Angel" and "Santa's Lament." Be My Christmas Angel um, was was by Troy. Troy over at uh, Not World Famous. And Santa's Lament was Mr. Fabulous over at Pointless Drivel. Oh. Mr. Fab. Oh. oh. Okay, so Be My Christmas Angel. So that was the runner-up? The, they w- were tied? They it were was tied, tied for they second tied. place. Tied for second place. So place. I had best insight into the very personal life of Santa. Oh, Mr. Mr. Chaos made comments. I thought as Frank, he judged them. Frank Zappa would be proud of some of those lyrics. That's nice, honey. Yeah. Do um, so you have any? Do you it have was any very comment? naughty. It was yep. very naughty. It fit very well into the category of naughty. 
So I noticed some people really went for the naughty, and we did say, go naughty. That's true. We did. We we specified that if you were going to make it naughty, make it really yeah. naughty. And Troy, you made it very naughty. I know you had some concern over whether it would be too naughty to enter. It was naughty. Well, but maybe not quite as naughty as some of the others. That's right. There were some... Troy. That, maybe. maybe <laughs> if that's tro- your real name. <laughs> Troy, maybe um, yours wasn't the naughtiest. I don't think it was. There were a few that we just kind of made a little X through. We'll yeah. We'll talk about those, though. Yeah, we can we can handle all the naughty sex talk in the world, but there was one one topic we kind of found off limits. So off limits, off limits. Off limits. So be my Christmas angel. Be my Christmas Do you angel. Give me comments for Troy. Well, the only comment I have, Troy, I I really kind of enjoyed it, but uh, your chorus line seemed to change just a little bit. You know, you, you should have stuck with one chorus instead of trying to change it on the way through. Mm, Troy, constructive criticism from my daddy. But other than that, you know, you you really hit the naughty mark well. Next year, yes. Troy. Next year. Yeah, tr- we and I think we will do it again next year, but maybe a little earlier. Oh, there's earlier. more songs. A little earlier next year. And then Santa's Lament was the other. It also tied. Bye. By Mr. Fabulous. Hi, oh, Mr. Fab. Favorite. Hey, Fabby, how you doing? Oh, he called him Fabby. That's that's nice. There was niceness there. Did you all hear the niceness? Mr. Fab needs to hear a little niceness from Daddy Gay. Yes, he does. Did you see that we got a Christmas card from Mr. Fab? No, I didn't see that. It, seen it's it. upstairs. I'll show it to you guys. I, I hoard my mail. This was the best use of anal sex in a holiday <laughs> setting. <laughs> It's true, it was. That's even it. if I would never sing this one, <laughs> even to my buddies, you know, I wasn't, when we were drunk. I wasn't, I wasn't going to bring that up, but now that you have, uh, you know, it wasn't just the anal sex. It was the anal, it was the anal sex with little people. Oh. <laughs> just try to think how many times any of you out there have used the phrase, it wasn't just the anal sex. Well, it, you, you'll have to read the lyrics. Well, I think we have to like you figure out post these or figure out some way or to yeah do that and yeah you'll you'll see what we mean. I just it have involves to, elves, Santa, <clears throat> and uncomfortable situations. I just have to read one line, and I think it really sums up the entire thing very well from Mr. Fab's song. Um, when you choose to procreate, take care which hole you fuck. That's all I'm going to say. I'll read one. Oh, well, Papa's going to read one. I'll read three. Okay. <laughs> As Christmas Eve draws near, I'll fuck a few myself. It's my right, as long as I'm discreet. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. The first part of the co- podcast is just like, highbrow, wonderful, and then it's like... <laughs> Nip right down the hill. No, that's awesome, though. You know, there's ice on the road. Parents warning. We're headed down now. Yep. All right, so yeah. Santa's Lament. Very fine effort from Mr. Fabulous. Right? Yeah, it was a good effort. And? And? Now? Mike? da 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 Can anyone do a good drum roll? I, I could if I had a drum Without, right here. You don't have your drums, yeah, babe. I could too, but I'm not going to. Okay. I don't think... Oh, there you go. Um, the Hi, winner. Holly Silver. The winner. The winner of the naughty contest was a little song by the name of Santa's Punish Me Polka. Well, it wasn't really Santa's Punish Me Polka. No, it was just called Punish Me Polka. But we renamed it to put it in the Christmas mood. Correct. And it was written by Deb on the Rocks. Yes. And it was the uh, overwhelming winner. Overwhelming. Killed everybody. It did. It it just, uh, I'm going to say one person didn't vote for it to be the winner. It was the Iron Chef of Entrance. Yeah, it was. I have written here on my tally sheet, clean winner. Yes. Uh, and it really was an awesome, awesome song. It I, was naughty. It rhymed well. Went with the song well. It uh, the concept was good. We enjoyed it. Yeah. I guess an SMM SNM song. You pretty much sort of get where the Chaos Family is coming from. So next year, <laughs> <laughs> next year you guys know if you want to win the nice contest, appeal to our ego. If you want to win the naughty contest, don't talk about guns. Don't talk about guns or, or anal sex. Anal sex with, with little elves. people. With elves. 
I thought elves were big. No, Weren't elves they the are big little. People in no, Lord they have big ears. No, no, little bodies. Hobbits. Little no. bodies. Little. Hobbits and dwarves. Like tiny little, tiny, thin, no, tiny. No, hobbits and dwarves. No, you elves need, were beautiful people. You need to watch Santa Claus again. Yeah, yeah. Elves, are, elves are pretty and tiny compared to You know, Bernard? Remember Bernard from Santa Claus? Wasn't Steven Tyler's daughter an elven queen? No, you're thinking of Will Ferrell. You know, he's a tall well, Yeah, he's, he's tall. Never it's true. Mind. No, yeah. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 so. Do, do. So that was anticlimactic, wasn't it? Oh, it's Deb on be... the rocks. Deb, I have to tell you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes, we here, here. love the song. We... It was almost unanimous. It two, was almost. Two entries, too. She had two entries. She also had an entry in the uh, nice category. Did didn't, not win the nice category. Didn't fare as well, but. It didn't fare as well. It was nice. But she obviously has a, a forte with the naughty songs. Yes. As Congratulations. Hence the On the Rocks. <laughs> Huzzah! Huzzah! Yeah. All Let right. Let me see if I can. I want to pick one one lyric from her song that that I... Uh, well, we'll review... Well, you know, we're going to record this song. Yeah. However, I'm going to tell you that I think sums it up nicely. Punish me, oh Santa sweet, because I'm a naughty girl. Yes. Punish me, black belt's my treat. Please send me round the world. Yes. Hey, Dad, I don't think I want you reading that out loud. Okay. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> that sounds incredibly inappropriate, but that is Christmas at the Chaos Household, and that was the 2007 Chaos Family Holiday Lyric Contest. Good night, everybody. Say good night, Papa. Bye-bye. Mr. Chaos. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>